Boys, episode 10, it's a big one. And not only because it's episode 10, but because it's also new camera day. The camera, oh my God, this camera is literally ridiculous. It cost me like four and a half K. If I bought everything brand new, it would cost me like five and a half K. So it was a big investment and I hope it looks fucking sick. You might not be able to tell too much now because we're in the kitchen. The light is not the greatest. You can tell. But when we, oh, okay. But when we get into the gym, that's when you're really gonna fucking see it. And let me show you the size of this fucker, boys. Just come here. Let me show you in the mirror. The size of this thing is a joke. Did you, like, I don't know. But it's not really all about size anyway. It's more about, like, the quality of the camera. Like, get, get like a, okay, is there any way to get a side view on that? Of course not. But look at that, boys. That is fat. It's a joke. Anyway, real quick, I need to say, I want a thousand likes on this video again. We're about to hit a thousand likes on the previous video. So make sure you like the video because it really helps me out. And some of you don't like the video sometimes because you're just bots. So anyway, we got legs today. It's the biggest day of the week for me because it's the day that I'm trying to like, it's the muscle group that I need to improve the most basically. Alfie's been training legs loads recently. Look at the fucking size of these. I've got a triceps and a quads, bro. <laughs> Jeez, bro, he's literally jacked. Sorry, Alfie. Anyway, yeah, so we've got legs today, which is my main focus, the main improvement. So we've taken a tiny little bit extra pre. We're gonna get this down the hatchet. And we're gonna go off to train some legs. I tried to make some pancakes this morning also as well. Because I was watching Chris Bumstead and he always has pancakes in the morning. And I had brown wholemeal flavour. Wholemeal flavour? Wholemeal flour. And look how it came out. What is that? So that was fucking ass. Instead of having my electrolytes as soon as I wake up, I'm having them pre-workout. I've only got two left. Well, not two. I mean, how many have I got? But like four, five. So instead of having my electrolytes just before, no, sorry, it's wrong around. Instead of having my electrolytes as soon as I wake up, I have them with the pre-workout. I just like it that way. And then I'm also gonna put a tiny little bit of pink Himalayan salt and yeah. Today's session is gonna be fucking tough, I promise you. This is a video you're gonna to wanna to watch. So, grab some popcorn, boys. Sit down and enjoy this video because this leg day is gonna go fucking crazy. Taking the electrolyte tablets. If you take electrolyte tablets, you're gonna know the pain. It's like taking two little salty dishwasher tablets and they sometimes get stuck right in your throat and it's horrible and I haven't taken them for like five days because it keeps happening to me. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to just get these straight down the hatchet, but if not, and then, I don't know, it might be, might be a little bit funny. Jesus Christ. That was, that was not me putting on an act. I know it seemed like it was, but I think it was just because I was scared. Oh, for fuck's sake. Electrolyte PR. <coughs> Let's get in the car. Let's get to the gym. Might as well just fucking spend another fucking two hundred pound. Thanks. To be fair, I have got the warranty on the mic. I don't know if you can say, oh my friend. Oh! <laughs> fuck's going on with these itches today? I literally feel like I'm literally getting a thousand needles stuck into me at once. I literally feel like I'm on the hub right now. Oh my god, that was like the weirdest sensation I've ever had. What the fuck was that about? Fucking hell, yeah, I was gonna say, my microphone's broken, the button. And, um, I've got a warranty on it, but. Jim was the one who broke it. I don't think the warranty covers fucking dumbass kid who literally has the mic for two seconds and breaks it even though he's literally a camera enthusiast. So yeah. Anyway boys, the pre-workout is fucking hitting me hard as shit right now. So I'm not gonna do too much speaking, I'm literally gonna dash to the gym because I don't I, I did have a little bit more extra than usual, but like only by like the tiniest bit I had like one fifth extra scoop, so I mean it can't have made that much of a difference. Jeez, it's fucking hit me so hard, I'm literally itching like shit. But um I was gonna say boys, 
by the end of the year, mark my words, by the end of the year, you're gonna be seeing me in a Tesla right now. This clip, this is, I'm literally gonna use the same clip. It's gonna transition to me in the Tesla. And then another six months. No. Let's get a little click the finger, like a click of your fingers, so when you, when we uh, in the future, bang, Tesla. Nice. And then another six months, uh, John and I have a pretty lit car as well. That's facts. You really think about buying me a car? You never paid me a cent yet. A Golf GTI. <laughs> right, anyway, boys, that's enough fucking talking. I'm absolutely itching to get into the gym. Like, what the fuck are you? How how have you not learned how to drive? See you at the gym. They stink. Yeah, sorry, these are stink like fucking gone off vinegar. But I promise you, you can train harder. I guarantee if someone put a gun to your head, you'll be a dead number up. Sorry, don't put my face in the stink. The boys are kind of talk. Basically, train harder. boys just finished the leg day we didn't like record like low well we did record quite a bit but i mean we didn't really do too many exercises because we just went real hard today like mega intensity i think we said so we did the adductors which i didn't film 
just because I kind of like sometimes I don't really like filming the first exercise because I want to like get in the zone, you know. So we did the adductors, then we did hack squat, then we did hamstring curls, and we did leg extension. So it was a pretty good session. I do like to sometimes do leg extension and hamstring curls beforehand because you can actually work them better in the shortened position before doing your compound movement. So if you don't know that, boys. If you're training for bodybuilding, it's probably better to do your leg extensions and hamstring curls first. Any sort of uh, what they call like accessory movements. But it was a really good session. It's really good. And I'm going to talk about one thing that I just love. I literally love it and I don't know why. After being in the gym and it's like really hot, I like coming into the car and I like not putting the windows down and like having it as like a mini sauna. I'm just like sweating it out. I know it sounds like fucking gross, but I was talking to Dave about it and Dave said he's the exact same. It's just like you're absorbing the pump and the heat and it just feels like really fucking nice. So if you're the same, put it in the comments or I'm just a fucking creep. And I just like being in like hot, sweaty, confined areas. Sounds a bit weird. But um, yeah, it was a good session. I'm gonna go to Curry's real quick because there's this like adapter thing that I wanna get. And then I'm gonna go home and I'm just gonna show you what I'm eating after we train. So I'll see you. At curries. Oh. What are you playing that, Baldy? <laughs> are you recording that? <laughs> <laughs> it's just wearing a bowl cap. <laughs> no, it's only recording now. Huh? I stopped and started again. Oh. So should I say it again? Yeah. Did they hear me say the baldy? Yeah. No offense to any baldies. I always call my dad baldy. And he's not even bald. But he doesn't like it. Hoodie's, Hoodie's actually got some dope hair. I'll show you later on, boys. But anyway, oh, I'm going to smoke. Fuck, sorry. Um, what am I saying? Oh, yeah. So we bought this. It's basically so I can edit my TikToks and some YouTube videos. Well, obviously John edits YouTube videos, but like, I think I'm going to edit this one just because I want to just experience the fucking sick camera. But basically, this is just going to allow me to put my MacBook screen onto the monitor so I can just like, if I'm editing like a long video, I can just sit back and just fucking bang, bang, bang. And obviously, I can still take the MacBook on the go. So yeah, that's what it was. It was £39 even though it said 49.99 i reckon she just gave me a little discount because the cashier was kind of kind of smash if it's 100 grand i'll give you 30. yeah yeah <laughs> you're gonna be rich uh-huh I knew it was going to be a winner. I knew it was going to be a winner. You knew it, yeah? Winner.